So, <clears throat> we are meeting again today on the 7th of October 2023 for some new questions and answers with uh, Khalifatullah of Jamaat al al Islam. So, today we have uh, a question from Mr. Suleiman from uh, Canada. So, his question is about how would life after death will present itself and how it will be brought about? <clears throat> so, uh, the life after death would not be the life of the material body that lives in this world. It would not be a resurrection of the body, but of the spirit. The material body is good only for this world and shall end here. In the next world, the soul would be invested, would be invested with a spiritual body which would be sensible to spiritual joys and spiritual pain. And uh, his second question is, when shall the life of the death will start and how it will commence? So, um, the life after death, the life after death, commence immediately after death, and not on any specified day, after an interval of thousands of years. But uh, that life is divided into three stages. The first stage, the first stage, which is called the stage of the grave, may be compared to that stage of man's life, which is passed in the womb, in the womb. In that state, the soul experiences various transformation and begins to develop new powers and faculties till, like a child in the home, which develops a soul and at a certain stage. It develops another soul and itself begin to serve that soul as a body. In other words, the soul experiences a new birth and then begin and begins and then begins the second stage, which is called the resurrection and which may be compared to the birth of a child. During uh, this stage of souls, 
begins to experience the condition of the second life, but its realization of these condition is imperfect like that of a child. After this stage has been passed begins the third, the third stage, which may be compared to the maturity of a youth. In this stage, the soul is able to realize fully the condition of the life after death and is then placed in heaven or hell. And uh, the third question comes from Miss uh, Rania from UK and her question is about what is the nature of heaven and hell? <clears throat> so heaven and hell the nature of heaven and hell are similar stages in which a man experiences joys joy or sorrow according to the character of the life he led before death. They are not material for they cannot be experienced by our material bodies nor can they be described as entirely spiritual. For in that life also, men would possess a spiritual body which shall serve as a cell for the soul that a man owns in his lives. In this lives, owns in this lives, and which will possess much finer and more dedicate perceptions than the latter. The delights and pains, the delights and pains of of uh, the life after death shall therefore correspond to the faculties of the spiritual body with uh, which men will be invested in that life. <clears throat> and uh, a second question is whether heaven and hell will be eternal or it shall be of limited duration. Heaven and hell uh, shall be eternal or of limited duration. So what I can say is that the soul will be given eternal life and that heaven shall open to men avenues for ending development. But that as man has been created with the object of attaining perfection, the punishment of hell will not be everlasting. For if hell was eternal, the object of man's creation would be defeated. For some men would forever remain in a state of imperfection. Indeed, hell is like a hospital where men would be cured, where men would be cured of those spiritual diseases which he contracts as a result of his action in this world. 
and owing to which he is unfitted to enjoy the delight of paradise. As for instance, a man suffering from some ophthalmic troubles is hurt by the glorious light of the sun, and instead of taking joy in it, he has to be kept in a dark room till he is cured of his disorder. When a man has been cured of his spiritual disorders in hell, the mercy of Allah, Tabarak wa ta'ala, that is the mercy of God, will lead him to paradise, to enable him to start afresh on the path of development in the new life, so that in the end there will be no man left, whatever the form of his belief, disbelief, and whatever his spiritual condition may be, who will not be gathered under the everlasting shade of God's mercy and will not be admitted to that eternal home which is the final goal of human existence. <clears throat> Jazakallah for all uh, these answers. Inshallah, we'll meet again for some new questions and answers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. First of all, I may thank for all those who have sent their questions to me. Jazakallah khair. And if anyone has not understand, that is uh, my replied, they can send me by message or email so that I can clear it and give uh, more details about this, inshallah, ta'ala, wa Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.